Welcome back to New Palace Lanes in Fitchburg. We are in the second round of match play in the Pro Series Ultimate Ladder. On lane 8 is Ryan Lair, who is fresh off a win over Joe Cassio in the first round, and he's taking on Chris Sacchetti. Meanwhile, Justin Scally is on lane 10, bowling against Sean Baker. Justin is coming off a win over Rich Myrick in the first round of match play. In this Ultimate Ladder format, it starts with a three-game qualifying round, as I mentioned previously, and the field is then cut to the top 25 bowlers. And what they do is separate the bowlers into five ladders, and those ladder match play segments take place on the five pairs of lanes here at downstairs at New Palace Lanes. And then what's going to happen once the preliminary ladders are completed is that the winners of the five ladders will then bowl in one more ladder series to determine who wins the, the whole tournament. So it's a long day, but it's been a, uh, a successful format the previous couple of years that the Pro Series has tried it. I think the bowlers like it. And they've come back for more, so... Ryan Lair started with a 10 box, and now he's got 6-7 in the second box. Some wood in front of the 6, not sure what that's going to do. And it turned out it went, well, one piece of wood went behind the 7, the other went in front of the 7, and uh, the 7 itself is uh, just standing there, so it'll be another open box. Meanwhile, Sean Baker is up on lane 10, bowling against Justin Scally. And Sean starts off leaving a diamond, or a bucket if you prefer, the 2458. Yeah, and he's got it. Very crisp spare by Sean Baker. Let's take a look at it in slow motion. Nice shot. Chris Sacchetti on lane 8. Punches through the middle. I think he punched out the 1, 5, and 8. And he takes out the 4, 7. So he's still got 5 pins left. Needs a good out here. Sean Baker with a 9 drop, leaving the 8 pin with a couple pieces of wood well out in front. He should be able to push them back to get the 8, but I'm not sure how far out they are, so it might be. It's one of those shots where you think it's going to go, but uh, it's not a huge surprise if, if it doesn't. He'll probably try and go fairly high on the left side of that wood. And he's got it. So that's two spares in a row for Sean Baker. Meanwhile, Chris Sacchetti has the 5, 7, and 10 with a piece of wood that might be, I think it's frozen behind the 5. So that could make it really interesting if he hits one side or the other. And look at that. That's exactly what happened. He hit the left side of the 5 pin, and the frozen wood causes the 5 to slam into the 10 and come all the way across and get the 7. That's a nice shot by Chris Sacchetti in the second frame. Justin Scally, meanwhile, drops 7, leaving the 3, 4, and 6. Second ball, he punches out the 3 pin, so he'll be open in the, uh, in the third frame. Justin will take an 8. Meanwhile, Ryan Lair has got a 5 drop, leaving the 1, 3, 4, 7, and 9. Makeable, but certainly not an easy shot. Just got the three pin, so he'll he'll still uh, he'll need an out here. Still got the one, four, seven, and nine. Justin with a kind of a light one, three pocket hit, leaving the two, five, and seven with a piece of wood in between the two and five. It's really 
a pretty makeable shot if he can hit the two pin and it goes this kind of clipped the left side of the two but uh, he got enough of it to uh, to make the spare so that's kind of important because Sean Baker started off with two spares see what he can do for a fill Wow Strike by Sean Baker, and take a look at this one on replay. Anybody hurt? That's, that was fast. That gives him 39 through 2, and then he's got the strike up in the third box. And there is another strike by Sean Baker. So he is off to a flying start in this match. Let's take a second look at this one. Similar to the other one, a little bit higher in the 1-3 pocket. And again, the 4-pin is the last to go. And that is a double strike for Sean Baker. So Justin Scally finds himself well behind after only four boxes. Again, in these one-string matches, you really have to get off to a quick start. And you don't have much time to make up a deficit once you get behind. Chris Sacchetti with eight, leaving the one three and a piece of wood behind it. Nice, fairly routine spare. So he's got 34 with the ball working through the third. Justin Scally with a nine in the in the fifth. And Justin drops eight, leaving the three six. Piece of wood at an angle to the left of the three. Opportunity for a spare. He just gets it a little bit too too much to the outside. A little too far to the left, and the six, the uh, three goes right around the six. And that'll be a 10 box for Justin Scally and a 9 for Chris Cicchetti. Justin has 60 through 6, and that brings up Sean Baker once again, working on that, that double strike. Let's see what he can do with that. Well, it doesn't look like 3 in a row, but he does drop 7, leaving the 1, 2, and 9 with some wood behind the 1 and 2. So that gives him 66 through 3, and then he's got that strike in the 4th, and it goes. So he's got... 86 through 4, and then the spare in the fifth. Ryan Lair, looking at a, oh, he's got a spare in the, uh, in the fifth. That was pretty important because he's down by 15 pins to Chris Cicchetti right now, so he, he can't, uh, can't waste any time. He's really just got to put it in gear. Sean Baker with a 9 drop. And what do you know? He missed one. So he's going to be open in the sixth box. You can hear some boos from the crowd. And he's got a 10. It'll be 115. So Baker is up by 55 pins over Justin Scally. Meanwhile, Ryan Lair with a strike. And here's a look at it on replay. Very solid in the 1 2 pocket. And again, that's really timely because Chris Sacchetti is up by 15. Chris with a looks like a six drop I think I think he's got the one three five and eight with some wood let's see if he can push it back and he does he actually just barely clips the head pin and that's that's a good way to make that shot because the ball just runs right down the three five eight so that matches the spare by Ryan Lair in the fifth and then Ryan had that strike in the sixth. See what Chris can do. And he's got an answer for that, too. Strike by Chris Cicchetti. Maintaining his lead. And there's a nice shot by uh, Justin Scally for a couple of spares. There's a, another look at the strike by Chris Cicchetti. A wall shot from the 1-2 pocket. 
So Sean Baker comes back up on lane 10, and Ryan Lair on lane 8, and that was a nice ball by Ryan Lair, but he just got robbed there. He hit pretty good, solid 1-3 pocket hit, but it just was a little bit too high, and he ended up with a split 4, 5, 7, and 10, some wood in front of the 4, 7, but this is really going to be tough. And that's kind of, that's about the best he could do. He puts an 8 fill on that strike. And then he'll be open. And he'll take a 9. Meanwhile, a 9 also by Sean Baker in the 7th. But he's got a big lead in this match. He's got 124 through 7 to 78 for Dustin Scally. And Sean Baker misses the head pin by quite a bit, but gets a nice break just leaving the 8 pin with some wood out in front. And he's got it. Ryan Lair with 3, 5, 6, 10. And this is pretty important that he make this spare because he's down two marks to Chris Cicchetti. Now that's a good try, but he got a little bit too much of the three pin, so he didn't just took the three and five. So he'll be open in the eighth. Now that's going to be a nine box for Ryan Lair. And it's also a 9 for Justin Scally in the ninth. Justin moves over to lane 9 to finish his string. Chris Cicchetti working on that strike that he left in the 6th. Uh, drops 5. Leaving the 4 horsemen left plus the 8 pin. And he punches out the 2. So it's a 6 fill on the strike, giving him a 13 pin lead at this point, 85 to 72 through 6. And now he needs an out to try and maintain that lead. And he does. Does uh, match the 9 box of Brian Lair. So Chris Cicchetti still leads by 13, 94 to 81 through 7 as he moves over to lane 7. And there was another strike by Sean Baker. Crit, uh, uh, Justin Scully finished up with a 113 game, so Sean Baker is going to move on to the next round. Here's a look at the strike. Kind of a, a mixer in the 1 3 pocket. That gives him 144 through 8, and then the, that strike in the ninth. Chris Cicchetti runs down the four horsemen for a spare in the eighth. Sean Baker with a very light hit on the right side. Dropping five. And what's it going to do? It, he's, he's got it. Spare in the tenth. 174 with one ball to go for Sean Baker. 174. Ryan Lair with a eight drop and an important spare opportunity here in the ninth. Let's see what Sean Baker does with, with his uh, bill ball. It's going to be seven. That's actually eight. That's a uh, 182 game by Sean Baker and a 182 to 113 win over Justin Scally in this round. Sean Baker will move on to face Steve Badney in the third round of this ladder. And meanwhile on lane 7, Ryan Lair has an important fill ball here because he's got 100, he's down 14 plus the uh, fill that Chris Cicchetti will have. And add 6. So the match is not over, but Ryan absolutely needs to make this fair and then put a big fill on it to have any chance to uh, put a little bit of pressure on Chris Cicchetti at the end. And he just goes by the head pin. 
So he'll be open in the 10th box. And Ryan Lair finishes up with a 10 for a 116 game. So Chris Sacchetti already has 104 with a ball still to roll in the 8th. So not too much question that he's going to move on to the next round where he will face Jeff Surratt. Chris, uh, well, now there's no question about it. He adds a strike. And this is another pretty quick one, as you'll see on uh, replay. Doesn't take long for these 10 pins to go down. That gives him 124 with, uh, let's see, 124 with two balls to roll in the ninth. And he's going to drop nine. So Chris Sacchetti will be moving on to the next round of match play. I think this is the spare, but it doesn't matter. The uh, final scores in these two matches, Sean Baker 182, Justin Scally 113, and Chris Sacchetti 142, Ryan Lair 116.